I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. You'll have to keep an eye on that one. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. No messages for you, Commander. Very few Quarians ever set foot. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Carosa Generational Archive? Ah, 
I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. of Helium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan's reading those love poems oh, to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. Blue Rose of Ilium. That sounds like a question you, you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Non Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Blue rose of Ilium. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. I am speechless. Listen, he's a Krogan. Any talk about kids is gonna mess him up. I know. You can't talk to Krogan about the genophage. I get so angry. If you settle down with him, you'll spend the rest of your life wondering if he was after you or kids. Yeah, you're right. I guess I needed to hear somebody else say it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. What about you? you? Going to try and make it as a commando? No, I haven't had any luck yet. It's legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard! I... 
I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, Hunan. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian Spectre led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters worked with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... 
Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Would you rather the colonists all be dead? That would make it simpler. And you could have gunned down the slaves the Thorians sent against you. That would have been easier. But you took the harder path. So will I. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non -assar. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me.
What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dagny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. <laughs> nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to find Samara and get back to my mission, with or without your help. Sounds important. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Self-correcting policy. Fortunate in our case, of course. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Good to know, given number of times we're ordered into hazardous situations. That's about twice a day. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. And now your superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. <laughs> 